Okay, here we are. Welcome to LEV Toys. We are continuing on with the build and review of the new LEGO Friends Jungle Rescue Base. If you haven't seen the first part of this build and me basically rambling a lot about sloths because there are sloths in this, then make sure you check out the first part. There are also some interesting new pieces in here that I haven't seen before, so that's cool. But basically, sloths is it for me. <laughs> this, and we left with the sloth hanging off the toilet door and one riding a baby elephant. So that is where we currently are. But let's continue. You. We are we're heading up the treehouse, up the jungle rescue base, which is a treehouse because it's built in a tree. So, you know, we can put treehouse in the title here too if we want to. And up here, I don't know what's happening, but currently we have got railings, which are important because otherwise people tend to fall off. Because, <laughs> you know, we're not always very bright. We all have our moments. <laughs> it happens far too often. Okay, so we got railings. We've got something going on the back there. Ah, okay, so those jumper studs are holding a whole heap of equipment. So we've got in this drawer, we've got thermometer thing. And in this one, we've got a pen. And ah, oh, this one's supposed to have the thermometer th th thing. No, it's supposed to have the baby's bodily kind of thing. And that one's supposed to have the thermometer thing. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. You can just store whatever you want in those drawers. So this is cool. They've got the medical equipment up here because it's a rescue base. And as we saw in the first part, the sloths are in trouble. Or just that one sloth that's in the tree that's on fire. It's a cool on fire tree too. So make sure you look at that. It's got this like moving fire function. All right. What other equipment have we got for you? We've got a bottle that does not actually fit into this. It's going to have to lie down. So hopefully it is totally leak proof. And we've got the sticker with this covers all the rest of the medical supplies that we need. All the random pills and bandages and band-aids by the look there. <laughs> and of course we've got the cold pack which comes in that medical pack thing. And a bottle of purple ointmenty animal stuff. And above it we need a light so we can see what on earth is actually going on up here. So let's install that next to the drawers. All of the medical equipment. We have now got a nice little jungle vet going on got all the things that we need. Well, actually, we don't have quite all the things that we need because we're not finished here, but some more structure needs to go on before we add the other stuff. So let's see what we... This is the roof, right? Because we've already seen this roof design in the little bunk beds thing going on, the little detachable bunk bed thing. We've got a solar panel going up here. It's good they're being as economical with the environment as they possibly can. So eco-friendly and good. Our roof's going going well and then we've got a big sign which is this is obviously the insignia for the lego the, the lego friends jungle base all of these jungle based <laughs> all of these jungle based sets will have this in there somewhere i think uh, as as you know on tote bags <laughs> will they be on tote bags maybe not but they'll be on stuff we will see that insignia quite a bit now down here we've got Ah, so this is a this sticker's got uh, got the drip on it, more medical equipment, and that goes behind here, which looks like it is setting up to be a nice little bed section, or maybe an examination, oh, just an examination bed, definitely examination bed by the look of it now. So we got a light there, and on the bed we've got another sticker, which once again has got quite a nice ambiguousy kind of print that you could use on just about anything in that coral colour. That's cool. And the sloth look. See, oh, look at the sloth. <laughs> it fits perfectly on here. Oh, yeah. And the elephant can hang out up here too, you know. That, the elephants, the baby elephant is small enough to go just about everywhere in this build. The mama elephant has to hang out downstairs, but oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> the x-ray, so this is an x-ray machine, by the way, is actually of the baby elephant, so we need to put the baby elephant up there. <laughs> okay, and these are the spare pieces that we have left over at the end of this bag. Just a few little random, another one of these little pearlescent -y kind of blue dots, though. So that's cool because that's new. We're up to bag number three. There are four bags in this set, so we've still got a bit to go. And now we get to meet Olivia and see her in her new jungle outfit. Once again, there is a lot going on in this top. <laughs> but look at that. They've managed to line up the lines uh, over the top almost and under her arms really quite well the printing is going very nicely on her top going gone very nicely on her top so new top new new bottom part too of the torso and she does she get like them no i was thinking she might get the matching walkie talkie the other walkie talkie that stephanie had so she'd be her contact back at base but this is not a walkie talkie this is a remote control for a buildable a buildable, a buildable drone. 
But this is cool. So we need four of these little wheelie things. And the new CMF series, the collectible minifigure series, had a drone dude. And he had a drone that's built in a different way than this. So this could kind of be interchangeable. This looks like it could be, oh, that'd be the camera. But that could also be Zobo's head. Like this drone could be a Zobo drone. That zone, a zone, Zobo drone. <laughs> okay, so we've got Olivia, we've got her drone, we have got a whole big whack of water now to add to our jungle rescue base. I'm just not quite sure where this is going to go, so we'll find out as we keep on building, paying attention to the orientation of these green grassy bits and where the flowers go. Now some of you in the first part told me that those yellow flowers, you've seen them before, pretty sure that we haven't. They've been a light orangey colour, so these are quite a vibrant light yellow so I could still be wrong but I'm pretty sure they are brand new now we are going up with a nice substantial tree trunk here we've got a little tree trunk seat there down the base of the tree and uh, some rocks over here on the side oh look at this okay I'm liking the contouring here going on with these triangly green pieces that's useful okay We've got branches going on up, 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 and up the tree. This here has... Okay, so this all goes in one big whap up there on top. And then we've got more nice branches going on, all connected. This is looking really cool. Now we get to put on the ubiquitous slide <laughs> that occurs in most Lego Friends sets. So this is a nice quick way for the sloth to... Oh my goodness, that's slippery, the sloth's on the floor. Okay, the sloth comes back covered in floor dust, but that's probably not the worst thing sloths have ever been covered in. They're very slow moving. They're generally covered in moss and a lot of dirt. But they're so cute! Sloths rule! Hashtag sloths forever! <laughs> Okay. okay, concentrating on the building, not quite obsessing about the slots, but yes, I am obsessed about the slots. This is looking really great. Now we have got another slide that is connecting on to the previous slide, and now our slide is super long and I can angle it so that the sloth doesn't fly directly off my building table, and the baby elephant can have a go too. Possibly not the mother elephant though, once again, still too big, misses out on all the fun. Now these struts here, we've seen these before in like eye-wrenching pink in previous Lego friend sets but we've never had them in this brown which is nice because it's a color that you can use a little bit more universally in fact I think it's only been these struts in this color have only been in one other Jurassic World set so these are cool very useful and looks like we're going to be disguising the technique part of these struts with a nice bit of wood featuring going on here down the back look at that we got flowers <laughs> we got flowers on both sides, we got leaves. Oh, hold on, this one needs to go up just a little bit. Yeah, so they poke over the top and the bottom is actually lined up with that bottom technique piece. And we got sloths, and oh, hold on, we don't have sloths because there's supposed to be a leaf directly there, and a spider on the other side. So maybe this is not another way to get up. <laughs> and a broom? Okay, the broom goes down here because when, uh, yeah, when you're dealing with animals, there is always a lot of cleaning up. So we need a broom, <laughs> the only cleaning up equipment we got. We've got some more foliage going on up here and we can hang the sloth from these which makes me very happy because it looks so cute there and these are our extra pieces not a whole heap this time around we're up to bag number four so we are nearing the end let's see so we've got uh railings <laughs> i'm definitely calling this as railings and we've got another okay so this is gonna be another platform up in our tree and that base that tree base is really nice and substantial with those big rounded brown wood pieces there's hollow brown wood pieces so these go up here gonna be the top of the slide up here and then so it's only quite a reasonably little platform and once again railings very important for everybody's safety but we've also got a little like a little platform out the front little platform what should we call it that uh you know a place to put stuff on the front there uh, like a like a presentation area <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is where she where we shall present the sloths. Over here, I've, I've, I've forgotten a piece, so let's put that in. And then we've got a nice hollow um, tree going on up here. But it's taking shape really quickly with these nice big tree-shaped pieces. All 
Right. Oh, okay. We got we've got a pink ladder, and oh, you know what? It would be negligent of me not to see whether the sloth can hang from this, and he can. Look at that. Oh, oh, can he hang off the end? He can hang off the end. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but now I need to pull this part again. No, he can't hang on that. I don't know what made me think he could possibly hang from that. And <laughs> we'll put him on his sloth presentation area. And we shall continue the platforms. The platforms up here in the treehouse. Okay, so we've got some interesting mm, pieces here, which mean we're going to be connecting stuff to those. So we'll continue with our railings around the front here. And then, what is this? Oh, it's a keyboard. Okay, we've got a keyboard. We've got a cup. We're going to need a computer screen because this is computer. And this is what's on the computer screen. They're tracking the sloths. Oh no, there's an exclamation mark, which means the sloths are in danger. Oh, okay, so this is going to be right. This is detachable, which is nice. This is going to be right at the very top of the treehouse. So it's an observation point. So they can see from all the way up there as well as getting in the information, you know, technologically because technology is awesome. Though I don't know that it would always be that reliable in the jungle. <laughs> what's the Wi-Fi like in the jungle? What's it like at your place? You're probably a lot worse in the jungle. Okay, so we've got an observation deck up here, which this is where I think Olivia may mainly hang out so she's going to need a telescope telescope to see what's going on far distances away and a roof a roof once again in the same design as the previous roofs except we've got one of these like a loud hailer what do you call those things like a klaxon or a sireny kind of thing so it's for an emergency I'm sure so let everybody who's on the base know what's going on they go alert alert very very loudly which will disturb all the while I've got another solar panel up there and I've put this on in just the right yeah, here wrong spot so we fix that and everything is dandy when that's done now more foliage and see I told you all those extra little clip pieces were going to have cool stuff attached off them I may not have used the term cool but I'm I'm calling it I think all that foliage looks fantastic cool if you will okay all right so now we attach these two parts of the jungle base together they look absolutely just so fantastic we put them together down here in the watery area and we need to just put some oh turtle get a random turtle down here too so another animal we got two elephants two sloths spider and a turtle oh, and now we get to find out what our Oh, the roller coaster pieces for it's going to be creating the wibbly wobbly ladder from one treehouse bit to the other treehouse bit the connector this is so clever I would never ever in a million years have thought of using those I, I mean I don't even really know what to use those rail pieces for except for making making you know, a roller coaster <laughs> So this is cool. Or a monorail. I'm not creative with these things and I should be. So now we have got some stepping parts. Why are they not going down? Go down. You're supposed to go down the instructions. Say there we go. They just need to be forced. <laughs> we needed some tough love. Down you go. There we go. And they've all got little jumper studs on them, which is good because that means you can people can stand on them. And we've got these little arm pieces, little claw pieces on either side. Well, they will be on either side. At the moment, we've got them all on one side and we use this bendy hollow brown piece to actually make the railing. Oh, that looks spectacular. That's so cool. Now we just need to emulate that on the other side. And then we have got a wibbledy wobbledy bridge so that they can connect one to the other. That's, that is so cool. All right. <laughs> you do need those hanging on a bit, so that's really important. Okay, let's go and install this and see how it all goes. Make make sure it does all fit. Yeah, okay, that goes here. That connects up there. That was like it's like I followed the instructions correctly. And you can put the oh, hang the sloths off the side. <laughs> we need more sloths. I need more sloths in my life. Okay, so the sloths can hang off here, and the girls can, of course, the mini dolls can just sit. They can not sit. They can stand on here, and they're actually plugged in with the jumper stud. <laughs> Soft bums, look at them, they're so cute. <laughs> All right, concentrating on what's happening. Over here is not actually a presentation platform. This is where we're supposed to put the drone. 
So, but you can put whatever you want there. But this is just what the instructions say this is this was designed for. And we do get another walkie-talkie, which is good because just Andrea speaking into a solitary one before, not connecting to anybody else. <laughs> it's a bit sad. So we've now got two walkie-talkies. Check. <laughs> and now we get to, because we finished, now we get to set all this up and see where we can put. I reckon we could attach that little eating area to to some places here too it doesn't really need to be floating free but it's good to have it unattached as well because then you can put it wherever you want change it around a bit so the back actually looks pretty great which is including the toilet back here which is not always the way with lego sets but this looks really really nice from the back as well as from the front i am absolutely thrilled now you probably already knew but there is already a lego friends jungle rescue base which was released a few years ago this is an updated version of that and i think that it is far superior to the original one it's got so much more to offer i love the new animals i adore the sloths i don't know if you would have picked that up but I really do like the sloths. I've been very subtle about my sloth love, I know. But this is a great set. It's going to look fantastic displayed on my shelf. I am so thrilled to add it to my collection and I am really excited about building some of the other new sets. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you leave me a comment letting me know what you think of this set and I'll be back with another one very, very soon. So I will see you then. Meanwhile, off to play with some sloths and hang them off all the things, all of them. <laughs> see you, bye.